we're still headed up our 18 mile drive up the mountain to get to the campground and the original site of the Twin Lakes. Check out these campgrounds. go looking for bugs. Can you see this? Massive tree. We're in the thick woods, bear country. Mm -hmm. Crazy, huh? It's one hell of a strong bear. Okay. We're up here doing a high mountain lake. You can see how low it is. It's gonna be a little sloppy. First thing I got, pull tab. All right, I dug a few pull tabs already. I have a high tone here. It's a weird one too, it's 23. Used to be anything. It's probably the top to Well, what is it? Yeah, just some sort of bracket. Yeah, let's keep going. 26. Best sound I've had so far. Ooh. Out of the hole? What'd you get? You getting something too at the same time? I just got a shell. I got something else here. I got another shell. Oh, I got a coin. No freaking way. It is gunner stuff. A dime. I got a dime. Find? Penny. Cold? Just a regular. Ah. You see that? Not there. Oh, doesn't even come up. Oh. Got me a knife. Boom. Is it plastic? Look at that. Dude. It says, it's made in. the luckiest. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, man, that wasn't luck. Yeah, it was. Alright, it's been a struggle. My camera's dead. You're in the snow. And we're on this high mountain lake. High mountain lake. And look what I just pulled. What is it? It's a buffalo nickel. No way. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Dude, we had a deal. I'm on the high side. Come on, man. It looks like it's going to be a no-dater, but boom. Can I see? Yeah. Ah, it feels so good. We are at like 7,200 feet up in the mountains. Buffalo nickel. And it's snowing. Yeah. This is hardcore metal detecting. <laughs> <laughs> And Gunner is having too much fun. Awesome. That is cool, man. Now get back in your own spot. Look at this crap. <laughs> I'm cool. I have a jacket, two shirts, and a vest on. I mean, I... you know, we're at like 7,200 feet at a high mountain lake. I don't know why she's cold. I'm not prepared. It's like, I'm not prepared. It's like Florida up here. All right, now that's something I've never dug before. Uh, fishing that, I guess. 
busy. So, you know, I hate to try to sway everybody to like a certain <laughs> metal detector, but man, I have been over this ground over the years so many times. And I can't believe what I just pulled. I cannot even believe it. Look at that. Wow. Oh, dude, it's not, it's 1800s even. All right, let me wash this off. That is so crazy. Look at that. Barber quarter. Pretty sure this is 1894. Could be 1884, but I think it's 94. Wow. So here's the thing, like, with this machine, I just get so much less faulting than I got with the AT Max or the AT Pro. And so, something that might have sounded like junk before, all of a sudden to me just lights up and then, you know, I was like, holy cow, there's a quarter sound here. It's crazy. All right. That does not happen in Montana much. 1800s, baby. All right, see what else we can get. Well, that is not metal detecting, but that looks like it's been worked. Looks like somebody tried to make a rock into like a bead. It looks like a tooth. What do you think? I gotta say, man, this Equinox just really is just an amazing machine. I mean, I, have, I comb this beach every spring, and the last two springs, well, it's not spring right now, but anyways, ever since I had this Equinox, and I've been down this a couple times, I'm finding so much stuff I didn't find with my AT Max or my AT Pro. Here's like a, it's real chewy, I can't tell, but I think it's a 55 BB. So I'll have to get that under the loop later and see what the deal is. Okay, so I'm back in the area where I found the barber dime and I have my machine cranked all the way up. And I did pull a piece of iron. And then I got this. And it is wiped. I'm thinking though, it's a really old weedy. I doubt I'll be able to get a date. You can just barely make out what it looks like to be Lincoln on there. But anyways, that's pretty cool. Well, that's probably about it for tonight. And a really short hunt, so probably attach this to another hunt. Alright.